Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my family. I hope I can do this and because I want this video to get done. Um, it's done in three parts, and none of them were worthy of me loading up to y'all because they were all crazy. And um, I don't know if something's wrong with my system or but I had technical difficulties. So I'm going to try this again because it's really important. Because a lot of times I always ask myself, how the hell we get here? Um, of course, the dominant society is not worried about this unless they're empathetic. Um, but if they're not, this conversation is way over their head. So those who have ears, let him hear. Okay? Um, I'm often, so let me just say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the work, mental house with me. I think that's me. Yeah. Good to right? Uh, you know, like I said, I'm always asking, how do we get here? How do we get here? And I think it's real important because I realize that a lot of y'all don't know nothing about history. And since I was about, mm, I know President Lyndon Johnson, he formed an 11 member National Advisory Commission on Civil Disorders in July of 67. So, I wasn't even 10. Yeah. Um, the, ex, to explain the riots that plagued cities each summer since 1964 and to provide recommendations for the future. Now, this is what Lyndon Johnson did. So I want to show you how um, after 50 years, this is the game that the narcissists play, the narcissistic system plays. So the commission sent a report back, you know, the, flying, the institution. Um, the commission's 1968 report, informally known as the Kerner Report, concluded that the nation was moving in towards two societies, one black and one white, separate and unequal. This is the commission that the president commissioned to do the research to give him back the report, and let's see how we can fix this, right? Okay, so look where we are today. Alright, wait, 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 wait. How you done? Unless conditions were remedied, the commission warned that the country faced a system of apartheid in its major cities. The Kerner Report delivered an indictment of white society for isolating and neglecting African Americans and urged legislation to promote racial integration and to enrich the slums primarily through the creation of jobs, job training programs, and decent housing. President Johnson, however, rejected the recommendations. They gave him the recommendations. He was like, no, that's going to cost too much money. So in April of 1968, one month after the release of the Kerner Commission, one month after the release of this report, Um, uh, wow. Rioting broke out in more than 100 cities following the assassination of the civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. In the following excerpt from the report, the summary, the commission analyzed the patterns of the riots and offered explanations for the disturbances. So in 1998, 30 years after the assurance of the report, former Senator and Commission Fred R. Harris co-authored the study and found out that the racial divide had grown even bigger in the ensuing years following with the inner city unemployment at crisis levels. Opposing voices argued that the Commission's prediction of separate societies, of two separate societies, had failed to materialize due to uh, a marked increase in the numbers of African Americans living in the suburbs. So, in their summary, these guys wrote, The summer of 1967 again brought racial disorders to American cities, and with them, shock, fear, bewilderment to the nation. The worst came during a two-week period in July, first week in Newark, and then in Detroit. Each set off a chain reaction in neighboring communities. 
On July 28, 1967, the President of the United States established oh, my dog I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm very good. Um, established Oh, uh, boy. Please don't let him start this because I can't scream out there to our hand. Um, shut his mouth. Anyway, and the worst came in a two-week period. First in Newark and then in Detroit. Each set up a chain reaction in neighboring communities. On July 28, 1967, the President of the United States established this commission and directed us to answer these three basic questions. What happened? Why did it happen? And what can be done to prevent this from happening again? Remember this now. This is what they were commissioned to do. To figure out what happened. Why did it happen? What can be done to prevent it from happening in the future? To respond to these questions, we have undertaken a broad range of studies and investigations. We have visited riot cities. We have heard many witnesses. We have sought the counsel of experts all across the country. This is our basic conclusion. Our nation is moving towards two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. Reaction to last summer's disorders has quickened the movement and deepened the division. Discrimination and segregation have long permeated much of American life. Now they threaten the future of every American. This deepening racial division is not inevitable. The movement apart can be reversed. Choice is still possible. Our principal task is to define that choice and to press for a nation, a national resolution. To pursue our present course will involve the continuation, polarization of the American community and ultimately the destruction of the basic democratic values. The alternative is not blind repression or capitulation to lawlessness. It is the realization of common opportunities for all within a single society. This alternative will require a commitment to national action, compassionate, massive, and sustained, backed by resources of the most powerful and richest nation on the earth. From every American, it will require new attitudes, new understanding, and above all, new will. The vital needs of this nation must be met. Hard choices must be made and, if necessary, new taxes enacted. Violence cannot build a better society. Disruption and disorder nourish repression, not justice. They strike at the freedom of every citizen. The community cannot, it will not, tolerate coercion and rob move, rob, mob rule. Violence and destruction must be ended in the streets of the ghetto and in the lives of people. Segregation and poverty have created in the racial ghetto a destructive environment totally unknown to most white Americans. That white Americans have never fully understood but what Negroes can never forget is that white society is deeply implicated in the ghetto. White institutions created it white institutions maintain and white society condones it. It is time now to turn with all the purpose at our command to the major unfinished business of this nation. It is time to adopt strategies for actions that will produce quick and visible progress. It is time to make good on the promises of American democracy to all citizens, urban and rural, white and black, Spanish, surname, American Indian, and every minority group. Our recommendations embrace three basic principles. To mount programs on a scale equal to the dimension of the problem. I think, okay. I'm sorry. To aim these programs for high impact um, in the middle, in the immediate future in order to close the gap between Promise and performance. We repeat that. Number two, 
to aim these programs for high impact in the immediate future in order to close the gap between promise and performance. And number three, to undertake new initiatives and experiments that can change the system of failure and frustration that now dominates the ghetto and weakens our society as a whole. These programs will require unprecedented levels of funding and performance, but they neither probe deeper nor demand more than the problems which call them forth. Let me repeat that one more time. These programs will require unprecedented levels of funding and performance, but they neither probe deeper nor demand more than the problems which call them forth. There can be no higher priority for nation, national action and no higher claim on the nation's conscience. Okay? And so, with that, it's going to come back in those three parts they want to address. And I'm going to make that a part two. And that is, again, remember, what happened, right? It was the what happened... And sort of like the why it happened and what we can do to not have it happen again. Okay. From the current commission itself. All right. I'll be back in the next video.